we don't need you anymore. But I hope that it helps people quit. Hi guys, this is JG again. <clears throat> now I'm uh, I'm gonna give you my take on what I've uh, watched so far on YouTube. Now, uh, Roberto Blake and Sonny Leonard Ducey, the leading uh, leading social media experts right now, they're also influencers in their own right, have released videos that <clears throat> that Instagram will be hiding likes. Okay, they. They just tell, they just told the whole world that Instagram will be hiding likes. Now, as I think about it now, um, I believe it's going to be a good thing. Okay. Now, as uh, I was just watching Solin and Arduzzi's take on it a while ago, she also said that Nicki Minaj tweeted that. She's going to give up on Instagram if they actually if they actually start hiding the likes. Now I agree with her. Okay, that is so superficial of Nicki Minaj. Okay, that is so super that is so superficial of her. For me, all right, Instagram should be hiding not just likes but uh, also the follows. Now, YouTube uh, is now doing that. Okay. You can actually hide the number of, subscri of subscribers to your YouTube channel, okay? So YouTube has set a precedent, and <clears throat> Instagram will be will be following suit. For now, uh, Instagram will be hiding likes, okay? They've been doing this in they've been probably doing this uh, since the beginning of this year. They have rolled it out, I think, in Europe already in some parts of Asia. Now, they're going to try it out in the U.S. In, in Canada, they've already hide, they've, they've, you already have the option of hiding your likes. Okay? That's in Canada. Now, in the U.S., they're experimenting with it now. And I truly believe that they're going to roll that out for the U.S. Okay. I live in the Philippines. Right? You can't hide likes yet here. <laughs> okay? So... That's going to feed fuel to the fire for uh, the way I see it, okay? I think Instagram should already hide likes in the Philippines. Dito, right? <clears throat> I've seen it too many, too often already. In all these, in, in the full year that I've been active on Instagram, okay? Dapat talaga... Hindi talaga binabase ang well hindi talaga binabase ang pagva-validate ng isang tao sa isang influencer based on the number of likes on her on his or her post, how many followers she's he or she has. It has to stop, okay? The madness has to stop. All right? Kaya ang nangyayari, okay? If you've seen one of my uh, one of my um, observation videos like this, I discussed there on how on how brands here uh, recruit their influencers, right? Yung sa experience ko nun, they based it on the total likes on my account. <laughs> That's why I lost the deal. That's why I lost the deal. Hey, kami ang talo. Yung mga micro-influencers when it comes to that. But, brands have yet to realize it's just a vanity metric. Okay? Hindi dapat ganun. An account should be judged on how, on how much content it has and what kind of content it has. Alright? Don yun talaga dapat ang basis nating lahat. If if an Instagram account has no educational value, fuck it. I am not going to follow that. All right? I'm not going to follow that. But if it's uh if its posts are motivation centered or uh, talagang educational siya, educational in nature, it will help me uh build my brand. 
or it, it'll help anybody get out of that psychological rut that the likes are doing okay I would follow them I would follow them and uh, I'll even share their posts on my stories okay I'll even share their posts on my stories so yeah Instagram should roll out the hiding of likes here in the Philippines right dito it's already getting out of hand okay we micro influencers ang talo okay talo kami kasi well companies are basing it on likes and followers not the content yan ang uh, yan ang kinasasama ng logo personally right but hey I truly believe that Instagram will uh, will start hiding likes here in the Philippines. All right, but I'm in gumagamit ng Instagram dito. So well, let's just wait and see. In the U.S., it will definitely roll out. All right, because uh, Instagram's like feature has been causing has been causing mental health issues there. Okay, now. Here's a tip I would leave for, for you guys. <clears throat> My number one tip, do not, uh, do not validate the likes. Do not let those likes validate your self-worth. All right? I'm just repeating what Kanye West said a long time ago on, on Twitter as uh, reviewed by Sonny Narduzzi in her video. Now, I'm going to leave, uh, you would see the card there. I'm going to leave links to Sonny Leonarduzzi's video and Roberto Blake's video. Okay, so para mapanood nyo rin. Para mapanood nyo rin. So yun na. Do not validate yourself through likes, follows, or any other vanity metric. Okay, even comments. Do not give a shit. Do not give a shit. Roll out your content. Roll out your intention. That's it. All right. If someone doesn't approve of your content, well, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> they can go fuck themselves. But if someone really appreciates, if another account appreciates what, you, what you're what you putting out on your feed, your stories, give the love back. All right? Give the love back. Say, give them a decent thank you. Give them, uh, well, chat with them. All right? Don't just don't just receive don't just receive the love, okay? Give the love back. Law of reciprocity. All right. So that's it. Okay. So until my next observation, and like I said, don't mind the vanity. Don't mind the vanity. Do not feed the vanity. Okay. Feed your own intent. Feed your own interests. <laughs>